Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another makeup quick tips and tricks video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to overline your lips to make them look bigger, but without ending up looking like swollen duck face. Um, there's certainly ways to do this and ways to not do this. And it's very, very easy to do it in a way that just does not look natural at all. The idea of overlining and overdrawing the lips is to give a really subtle boost in volume to increase the size of the lips, but without it being obvious or noticeable. So so yes, if you are interested in learning about that, then please stick around. And as always, if you are new here to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Um, I upload three videos a week and we would love to have you as part of the family. All right, guys, let's jump into learning how to overline the lips. All right, so to make sure that this makes as most sense as possible, I'm going to show you uh, the mistake that pretty much everybody makes that just makes them look like duck faced instantly. And that is overlining the entire border of your lips. So see here, I've overlined the cupid's bow the sides of my mouth, the bottom of my lips, both of the outer corners, I've just overlined the entire area. And what that results in is it gives the lips a really blown out, fake, swollen kind of a look. And it becomes very, very obvious that you've actually overlined your lips. Um, this is essentially what you want to avoid. Don't just sort of go in and think, okay, right, I'm going to go in and overline the entire lip area, the entire lip border. Um, there's very specific ways to do this to make it look really super natural. And the problem is amplified further when you add a lipstick with a little bit of a sheen to it. Like, look how crazy my lips look. It is so obvious that I've overlined them. This is what you want to avoid. This is not you know, the kind of look that we are going for. So what we do actually want to do is only overline certain areas of the lips. So first up to start with, you want to make sure that you've got dry, clean lips, make sure that they are freshly exfoliated. Um, it's just a much easier, much more smooth surface to work on. So taking a lip liner in any color, and I've just chosen a deeper color um, for this video so that you can see everything really, really well. What I want you to do first is focus on the middle section of the lower lip and taking that lip liner, I want you to directly overline that middle section. So I want the line to still touch the vermilion border, which is where your lips meet your skin, like the skin on the rest of your face. But I want you to like very quite prominently overline that. And hopefully you guys can see here how much lower that line is than the natural border of my lips. And also when my mouth is relaxed, you can see already the massive difference that that makes in the volume and the plumpness of my lower lip. So yeah, just overline that middle section directly. Then moving up to the top lip, you want to do exactly the same thing only on the cupid's bow area. Now a really, really easy way to overline the cupid's bow and to get it perfect and symmetrical is to draw a big cross in the center of the lips and then overline just those two points. So probably the middle third of the lips, you want to have that lip overlined. And then anywhere else on the lip, what we're going to do is actually connect those lines with the natural lip border to get the most natural effect. So taking the same lip pencil, I'm tracing the external border of my lip there. And you can see sort of how much further away than that overlined section on the center of the lip is. And then you just carefully want to match the two up. Just go over it little bit by little bit until those two lines do match. And it's got sort of like a nice curve to it. And you know, there's not like a jagged edge. And then you want to do the same thing on the top lip. So trace the exact lip line. So no overlining at all in the outer corner. Trace it up and join the overlined portion of the top of the lip. Same on the other corner of the bottom lip. So following the natural lip line and then attaching it and connecting it to the overlined line section in the center. And then doing the same on the outer corner. Now, already by doing this, you're going to make your lips look so much bigger, so much plumper and just literally look like you've had fillers when you have not had to touch a needle. And like that stuff is painful. You do not want to have to do that if you can avoid it. So see how already my lips look so much much plumper, so much bigger. I'm then going to go ahead and fill in the entire surface of my lip. Like I said, you can do this with any color. And as you can see, my lips look really full, really plump. They look like they've got so much more volume than we began with. And then the second thing that I recommend is tracing over the top of that lip liner with a lipstick that has a bit of a sheen, a bit of a shine, just something that's going to catch and reflect the light because it will make your lips look so much more voluminous, so much plumper and so much bigger. There is a massive difference in how my lips are looking with this simple, easy technique in comparison to how they are when they're natural and they don't have any makeup on them at all. So I hope today's video was helpful. It's just a really quick, simple, easy tip and all you need is a lip liner to do it, which I'm sure most of you already have. So any more questions, pop them down below. I love you all so, so much and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.